May we ask uh, Senator Trillanes if he has further questions? Please address the chair. Uh, yes, Madam Chair. Um, well, first and foremost, uh, the the sincere apology extended uh, to me by uh, Secretary Aguirre is uh, accepted, and uh, I believe the Secretary has uh, learned some lessons in this uh, public episode, and uh, I take his word that uh, these incidents would not happen again. But uh, Madam Chair, and also for that matter, yes, I also clearly remember the incidents he cited in relation to the Filisano Commission. And uh, well, to be honest, uh, I used to look at him as uh, an upright uh, lawyer, but then again... Uh, you're then saying again, it in the past tense. Yes, uh, yeah. but because, because people change and circumstances change and the events which I cited have proven so. Now, this, uh, the first part, the personal, uh, the, the name calling and uh, insults part, I would concede have been addressed by uh, the the apology and the the guarantee that such incidents would not happen again. But um, there are some issues that remain to be addressed regarding uh, one the the Bucor memo and. Uh, if the if Secretary Aguirre claims that the contents thereof are all hearsay, then isn't it incumbent upon this commission and this committee in particular to dig deeper by calling on the pertinent uh, public officials to clarify from them uh, with certainty? definitively whether or not these incidents have actually happened. And also, in relation to the claim that uh, the contents of the uh, Bucor memo, the Bucor memo are, uh, are not reliable, but then again, the Bucor is under the DOJ and isn't it, uh, isn't it supposed to presume regularity in every kind of public document that would be, that would be churned out by uh, the agencies under him? Otherwise, if, if it's not going to, to believe every public official, pub, uh, public uh, document or official document that will be given to his office by agencies under him, then uh, he would have a problem, he would have a trust issue with the people under him. Now, uh, the Secretary Aguirre, the nominee, keeps on stating publicly that Wally Sombero, when he arrived from Canada, specifically cleared him from any complicity regarding the BI bribery scandal. But let me remind everyone that Wally Sombero is not in a position to clear anybody. He is a central uh, uh, figure in this whole mess, so we cannot possibly take the word of uh, Mr. Wally Sombero at the moment until he proves during the committee hearing, which is scheduled tomorrow by the way, that his statements would stand scrutiny by the members of uh, the Blue Ribbon Committee. And that's why the hearing tomorrow is very crucial, not only to ascertain the facts, and circumstances uh, surrounding the 
BI bribery scandal, but also in relation to this confirmation hearing, which is supposed to attest to the fitness of uh, Mr. Aguirre uh, for the position of uh, DOJ secretary. So some issues remain addressed, uh, Madam Chair, those two part particular incidents. But one statement uh, that uh, really jumped from the explanation of Secretary Aguirre is when he said that he corrected the inquirer when they said that uh, criminals are not human and what he actually said was criminals are not part of humanity or some uh, Madam Chair, I said uh, criminals Chair. are not humanity. Criminals are not humanity. So, 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 uh, Madam Chair, I am bothered by uh, by that statement, uh, even corrected, because I believe um, members of this uh, this commission, some some of my colleagues, may tend to agree with that. And there's no, uh, no, there's no, no particular... No one agrees with that because the Vice Chair uh, and I agree that I it is uh, not the right grammar. <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, grammar aside, but the essence of the statement... That is what the Vice Chair uh, wishes okay. me to state. Uh, uh, well, the indulgence of Senator Trillanes, for my clarification, Madam Chair, may I be allowed? I but want to be clarified on the meaning. Pag sinabi mong you cannot equate criminals to humanity. Ang ibig mo bang sabihin, eh, hindi mo pwedeng itong grupo ng mga taong ito, mga criminal ito, hindi mo pwedeng ikumpara sa, sa humanity, sa mga tao na matitino. Ganun lang itindi ko sa statement. Is that the, is that the meaning of the statement, uh, Madam Chair? C can I just answer for Secretary Aguirre? I know what he means. It was probably said out of frustration, and what he refers to are the perpetrators of heinous crimes uh, cannot be considered as one of us uh, in the greater humanity. Or, diba, Filipinos would say expressions, <laughs> grabe, hayop, or something like that. So that's what he means. It was a hyperbolic statement. So let, let's set that aside, whether uh, I, I simply wanted to state that it seemed it was taken out of context or even not grammatically correct, but regardless, that is what he meant. Uh, I'm sure Secretary right. will agree. Uh, uh, it is not to be taken literally. It is figurative in nature. It is a hyperbolic statement brought out by the frustration to address the problems of criminality in this country. So let, let's, let's move on, and uh, I, I thank... Oh, yun na. Kasi uh, uh, pag-ibigayin uh, uh, natin ang statements. Madam Chair, yes. just a um, brief rejoinder. Well, I tend to agree that we have our own interpretations about it. But we are elected officials or ordinary public officials. We are not the Secretary of Justice. Because that statement smacks uh, into the heart of his job as uh, Secretary of Justice. That is a legal definition according to a Secretary of Justice. Now, the context is this. The Amnesty International report was stating, uh, was the, the response was in relation to the Amnesty International report about the mounting deaths in EJK. Now, the context was, uh, they're basically saying they're okay to die because they're criminals. They're not, they could not be afforded human rights because they are not part of humanity. But here is the question. Are they criminals to begin with? They are not because they were never, they never uh, uh, went through the due process as defined uh, by the Constitution and by the, uh, by the courts. So that's why I am bothered. Politicians can utter those statements, but a Secretary of Justice cannot. Yes, Senator Dianes, thank you very much. I actually agree with you, and I also understand the point of our nominee. It was said out of frustration. It is not to be taken literally. It cannot be equated with an Amnesty International report. I do not think that it is a legal uh, statement or, or something that could be taken uh, 
the way it is. It was said out of frustration. It's a figurative statement, a hyperbolic statement, if there is such a word. Uh, with that, we move on. We take note of your opposition. Uh, your suggestions will be taken up by the Commission on Appointments in an executive session later. In the meantime, we would like to address the previous question in last uh, week's hearing, two weeks ago, where Senator Luxon uh, had the floor uh, uh, stated, stated, uh, stated his, his motion for state the, the, motion. the confirmation. Please, 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 please. So, may we just hear Senator Luxon, if Senator Tilianes is, uh, is done with his opposition. I take note of that. I, if I were in your place, I would, I actually agree with you. If that is a clear statement, the position of a Secretary of Justice, that there is no more due process and they're all, but I assure you, as a secretary has assured me in private, that that was out of righteous indignation and frustration. It is not a position of the DOJ. Um, but Madam Chair, uh, yes. 8,000 people already died. And the D DOJ has yet to investigate a single one of those deaths. So I, it is yes. in fact consistent with that statement that they're not part of uh, humanity, that's why they're not, uh, uh, they're not, they cannot be afforded due process uh, by, uh, by the courts. So, and, uh, well, but, uh, Madam Chair, I'm not uh, debating with you. In fact, uh, no, I'm in fact, I am allowing you to yes. speak because the majority leader keeps on badgering in my ears to, to, uh, to, to close your microphone and I say you not to speak. I said he's a colleague, he's a friend, I'm allowing him to speak. He keeps on telling me he's debating with you. I said no, I am letting you speak because I want to listen to you because I agree with you that yes, deaths must be investigated. That is the reason why the chair and the commission is passionate uh, and convinced that we must already confirm the Secretary of Justice so that all these deaths must be investigated. And uh, yes, I, I just want to focus I agree with you, Senator Trillanes, that the deaths must be investigated. I am equally, if not more, bothered by it. And so that is the reason why I want the Secretary, and I will ask him for all the hard work we're doing for him here, to please give an impartial, transparent investigation of all these deaths, whether drug-related or perceived or alleged to be extrajudicial. You owe it to the Filipino people, and we who have passed him or will pass him in the Commission on Appointments, if we will, owe it to the people. So I feel for you, Senator Tridanes. I understand where you're coming from, and I share your concerns for those deaths which are unexplained. So with that, uh, we... Madam Chair, before we act on the motion. Yes, thank you. I would like to echo exactly what um, the Chairman said about the need for the DOJ to pursue all these um, open cases of, of people killed. As I said last week, I have many people killed in my district, although I know that it seem, it, it, there seems to be this trend of, of just killing people because they're drug pushers or addicts, but the DOJ has to do something. We can't allow this to just happen that way and to continue happening this way. Somebody, it's got to be the DOJ and the people behind, uh, uh, underneath you to pursue this to a logical, logical ending. We should find the people, the perpetrators, whether they're policemen or people posing as policemen riding on this, this tide of, of uh, EJK. And um, I thank the, the chairman for propounding the very thoughts of many people regarding this matter. Thank you, Madam Chair. We share your fears and these anxieties, and we really need to see justice served to these people. Senator Trilanes, uh, can you wrap up, please? Yes. And then we proceed with Senator Luxon's motion. Thank you. So, uh, well, this is going to be my, my final statement. Uh, and, well, I empathize with uh, uh, Congresswoman uh, Sandy Ocampo for uh, 
the need to investigate this these killings but that's precisely why I am opposing Secretary Aguirre because I believe based on his uh, uh, his actions his in uh, involvement in uh, these incidents uh, I have cited in my position he cannot and will not investigate these things because he will just follow orders from his principal who wants to kill people and uh, that's that's the fr frustrating part now i am appealing to to uh, the members of the commission this is not going to be the first and last time that we will be dealing with each other at some point in the future we will be on the same side and uh, i can understand the pressure of standing up to a president such as Duterte. But uh, let us stick always to our principles and that sense of what is right. That's my appeal, Madam Chair. Sen Thank you, Senator Trillanes. Uh, just for the record, we are on the same side for human rights and justice. Whether it's yourself, the chair, Congresswoman Ocampo and all the members of the Commission and all of those present here in the hall today. But we thank you for your opposition and bringing to the table important issues facing our nation. Senator Pangilinan, uh, then we proceed with Senator Lacson. Who yes, before we act on the motion, um, Madam Chairperson, um, uh, Madam Chairperson and, uh, well, to the Secretary also, uh, after the last hearing, uh, there were actually uh, developments or, or or incidents that took place that uh, uh, involving again the Secretary of Justice um, and therefore uh, I would like to just place on record my, 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 some of my concerns first the, the Secretary of Justice committed to us that he would be he would exercise more restraint uh, and apparently uh, right after that the Secretary again uh, I, I feel failed to exercise restraint um, and this is uh, a cause for concern. Um, if I may quote what he said about the Amnesty International report, which happened after our last committee uh, hearing, uh, Madam Chairperson. Sabi niya, yung mga criminals, yung mga drug lords, drug pushers, they are not humanity. Hindi sila ang humanity. And then he went on to say, how can that be when your war is only against drug lords, drug addicts, drug pushers? You consider them humanity? No. I believe not. Um, this is a, you know, it, it, he was not just referring to criminals. He was also, well, referring to drug addicts. Uh, the drug addicts are not hum human or are not humanity. I, I think this is, this is uh, a, a, a concern for me. I am placing this on record uh, as we go through these proceedings because I feel uh, that we have to change our mindsets as regards, you know, drug addicts to begin with. Uh, uh, when we hold this kind of attitude towards uh, drug addicts uh, as not being as being inhumane or being not of humanity, Mr. President, uh, then we go we, we move away from recognizing or at least acknowledging that there is uh, another dimension to drug addiction, and it is not criminal. It is uh, uh, it is a health issue, Mr. President. Uh, and, and I think the reason why there are 7,000 deaths now is precisely because we are not looking at drug addiction as a health issue, at least this government, but it's looking at it as an issue of criminality, and, 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 uh, and that is a serious concern. Again, I'm saying this, Mr. President, and placing Mr. Chairman, Madam Chairperson, I'm putting it on record because this happened after we heard, after our last hearing of the Commission on Appointments, uh, Committee on uh, uh, Justice. The other Concern, Mr. President, Madam Chairperson, rather, that again took place after the last committee hearing was the matter of uh, the confidential memo that uh, cropped up. Uh, the, Sen uh, the Secretary already mentioned, uh, placed on record his position on the matter. Uh, I just feel, Mr. President, that uh, if not in this Commission on Appointments, perhaps in the Senate, uh, that this matter should be looked into uh, further. Uh, at the minimum, Mr. President, this Mr. Herrera Lim 
it would it would uh, benefit us to know uh, his side of the story, Mr. Mr. President, uh, Mr. Madam Chairperson. Uh, I'm not going to oppose the the confirmation or uh, the motion. I'm not objecting to the motion. Uh, I am just placing on record my reservations in lieu of the recent developments after our last Commission on Appointments hearing uh, on the Committee on Justice. For the record, Mr. President, Madam Chairperson. Madam Chair. Please proceed, Senator Soto. Yes, um, with due respect to uh, what we just heard, no, I have a different opinion. I, it grieves my heart to, 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 be, uh, uh, to do this, but I think I have to place on record also my opinion. When you talk about, when you say humanity and comparing it to, to uh, drug lords, drug posers, or drug dependents, or whoever, uh, it's not putting them down or ikaw na binabaliwala mo. Ang sinasabi, ang intindi ko sa statement na yan, ano, ay hindi mo pwedeng ikumpara ang humanity, which is about 7 billion people, against 100 or 200, 300 million people who are involved in drugs. Hindi mo pwedeng ikumpara. Yun yung ibig sabihin, ang humanity, eh, mas malaki kesa dito sa mga involved sa droga whether suspected or not. That is simply the in interpretation that I understand of the statement. Second, Madam Chair, I really wanted to ask Secretary Aguirre, kung sino tong si Alvin Lim, na Chief Legal Office ng Bureau of Corrections, na nag-issue nitong subject na, na lumabas sa dyaryo, sinabi ni Senator De Lima, na banggit nila, at binanggit ni Senator Pangilina niyon, na ito nga, sabi yung... Uh, and meron siyang memo to Benjamin De Los Santos, Director General ng Bureau of Correction. Sabi niya, councils of AFP, PNP, and Bureau of Corrections were present now when they were informed, hindi niya sinabi ko sino, that based on AFP's confidential investigation, AFP, ah, high-profile inmates detained in AFP custodial detention center continue to enjoy lavish lifestyles, use of electronic gadgets, material, Air conditioning, internet, cellular, etc., etc. Uh, when pressed for comments, elements of PNP and Blue Corps are invoked that they are just following express instructions of Secretary Aguirre. So, yun ang lumabas sa media. Okay. Itong uh, naglabas nitong uh, memo na to for the Director General, yung Director General naglabas ng press statement. Si Atomo Benjamin de los Santos, signed, signed by him. Sabi niya, uh, pending revision, etc., etc. In compliance with DOJ order dated February 8, the following are the results of the clearing operations conducted by a joint team of BUCOR and SAF. Kasi apparently, sinabi ng Secretary of Justice, yung sinasabi ni Lim, check in ninyo at clearing operations. Ito lumabas. One, air conditioning units were dismantled. So merong aircon. Two, Separate rooms were searched by inmates were not in possession of any personal cell phone units. Only one phone installed at the reception area was made available for emergency purposes under watch by Bucor and SAF. All calls are logged individually showing inmates' name, time, date, and party conducted. Four, one TV set is installed at the reception area for scheduled viewing. Entire Blue Corps Guard complement has been reassigned to NDP pending investigation to determine culpability. So, ito, firmado, hindi ito hearsay ng Director General ng Bureau of Corrections. Ano? Yun yung boss ni Lim. Pero itong si Lim, iba ang sinasabi ng ura. Eh, sino ba itong si Lim, Secretary Aguirre, for, for the clarification of the Commission? Thank you, Mr. Uh, Madam Chair. Senator... Uh, Ito Soto. Uh, si Lim po, I've never met this person. And uh, he, a mutual friend said he wanted to uh, rectify his statement and he was crying. Up to now, he has not, uh, he was not going to the office for one week already, or about one week. And the records of, Ms. of Attorney Lim's is this. He was charged with um, grave mis misconduct and uh, other uh, charges, and he was uh, found guilty, first charge. The second one is also he was charged again of uh, grave misconduct, 
and uh, and conduct prejudicial to the uh, service, and uh, he will be found guilty again because uh, he was twice suspended already. And the third one, still under my already in my administration, I uh, issued to him a uh, notice to explain why he should not be dis uh, given disciplinary action because he practiced law in Lucena City for twice, two times, without the uh, authority from the from the Secretary of Justice. This is pending. So uh, he was uh, already found guilty in the first charge. The second and third charge, third charges against him are pending. Madam Chair. Thank you, Senator Soto, for putting that on record. Thank you, Secretary Aguirre. <coughs>